Welcome, Coach, to HSBN Media Days. Good to see you. Thank you. Glad to have, glad to be here. <laughs> Can you please introduce yourself and the players you have here today? Uh, I am Wayne Rosenthal. I'm the head coach at Calvary Christian. It's my first year. I have Abe Rosenblum. I have Zach Oquist and Kingsley Guthrie with me. Well, good to see you. So, Coach, this is um, your first year with Calvary, yes. but tell us more about your baseball and coaching background before coming here. I'll cut it down to a short. Uh, I played seven years in, in minor league and major league baseball. Uh, coached for 21 years in professional baseball with the Expos and Marlins. Uh, took a six-year hiatus from coaching baseball in professional ranks, and uh, and now I'm coming back to a high school in Calvary, which is uh, an honor and a privilege to be here. That's great. What is your vision for this team? My vision is for them to, to we're going to disciple these boys to be men, be husbands, be fathers. Uh, baseball is a tool for them to grow in life. And, uh, and our goal this year is to be as one, be a family, be unified. The record does not define who they are. It's the way they act on the field and the way they, um, you know, represent themselves in character and integrity. Excellent. Now for the players, uh, you have a coach now that has a tremendous amount of, uh, of experience. So tell me a little bit about how, you know, how you feel about that with your new coach. Uh, going into the new season, um, I've been at Calvary for uh, since third grade, so I, I've grown up in the system. And uh, going into my senior year with a new coach was something that, you know, not, not everybody expects. But uh, as we go through the season, I've been – you know, very grateful for everything Coach has done for us. He's clearly experienced, and um, he's, like he mentioned, he's growing us as a team. And uh, the team chemistry, I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable so far. So we're growing as a family, and I just, so far, I've loved it. What about for you? Um, yeah, like uh, Abe said, I've been here since third grade. Um, and I'm not going to lie, when he came in, I didn't really expect anything. But uh, he's really he's really brought us all as a group, as, um, as a team. So it's, it's, it's been a big part of us. Um, the team chemistry, he, I think he's brought, like, the team chemistry, like, way better. I mean, it was a new team from the start. And, like, even our first preseason game, I felt the energy. It felt like a family. So, I like where it's going right now. That's excellent. Because there's a lot of roster turnover from last season. So, these are the leaders of your team. Yes. So, you're going to be counting on them. So, tell me a little bit about how, what you look to them for this year. I just let, I want them to lead by example. You know, if, if you do it yourself, there was, people will respect you. If they respect you, they'll follow you. Um, I hold them accountable. Uh, for me, I hold them accountable, but they take it upon themselves to hold the team accountable. And a lot of stuff that goes on, I don't even have to address. Uh, these boys step up, they do it themselves, and the players do respond to them. So again, this is not like a dictatorship. This is a team, this is a family. So they're the leaders. They're gonna um, take care of the business on the field with, with the players. I'm just there to be, a, I guess, a, authority figure or a leader or a teacher and just make sure everything goes smoothly and they're going to take over and do it, do it themselves on the field. Excellent. And for the as you seniors, how are you going to motivate your teammates? Um, as, uh, as we both mentioned, we've been here for a while. We've got to see the, the powerhouse of Calvary baseball as we've grown up and we've learned from uh, previous seniors and the years. I had a brother who attended Calvary about four years ago and so I got to see how he led the team as a senior captain and going into that uh, same thing. I'm. The main goal is, uh, as we we tend to work towards a state titleship, but we want to grow as a team and work as one. And so, uh, however it be, whether it be in the locker room, off the field, through team bonding, or on the field as a family, uh, really just grow this team as one. What about for you? Yeah, adding on to Abe, I think a big part also this year is just have fun. You know, um, it's our last year. I think all of us are um, coming as a group and just. Preparing for a state title, like you said, and I think a big part of that is just having fun, just playing the game. And for you, you're... I mean, like Abe said, I mean, I mean, as a junior, I'm learning from the seniors, you know, about leadership. We have a lot of leaders on the team. I mean, if anything goes wrong, they step up and say something, and, you know, I'm just learning to be a leader from them. Excellent. So, Calvary has one of the most challenging schedules around. What is it like to play with so many great teams and face so much great pitching? That's a challenge. I mean, anytime you step on the baseball field, no matter, you know, there's another team out there, you can rate them higher on paper, you can rate them lower on paper, it doesn't really matter because any, any given day a team can beat anybody. Uh, so we don't, it's not whether you're high or low, rank this or rank that. Uh, we're going out there to play a game. We're going to play it as hard as we can. And I always tell these guys, you can only worry about what you can control. You can't control the other team. 
You can't control umpires. You can't control the weather. You can only control what you do. And that's what I'm instilling in them that if you just go out and do your job, you know, whether you win or lose, you can look yourself in the mirror that day and say, you know what, I did whatever I could. And God's looking down on us and, and helping us through, through anything that comes our way. Exactly. And for you seniors, are there certain uh, teams you're looking forward to playing this year? <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> I don't know. Zach, you. Or North Bar Prep. North Bar yeah. Prep. A hundred percent. I am North Bar Prep. Um, I I've had I have a couple older siblings, and so I I love the competitive nature. And North Bar Prep every year is a game that I look forward to. So, yeah. I'm I'm very excited for that game. Excellent. Well, every game counts, right? So, yes. <laughs> for that. So, Coach, tell me about your goals for this season for this team. This is simple. Uh, I want these boys just to go out and have fun. Um, you know, every year, every year is different. Last year was different than this year. Uh, we graduated 16 seniors, so we have a lot of young, teen, young group here. I just want them to go out, have fun, enjoy themselves. I want these seniors to, to go out there and say, you know what, I had the best senior year of my life. And if they can walk away doing that, I'm not even talking about wins or losses. I mean, I don't like losing, and everybody likes winning. If we go 25 and all, we go 0 25. I want to keep our heads high. I want us to enjoy the game because it is a game. I've been through a lot in this game where things were serious and, and more of a business, and this is, this is fun. This is where they should enjoy themselves, and it's not, the game does not define who they are. It's that character integrity that will define them. And for you down here, we'll start. What yeah. are your goals for the team and for yourself this year? I mean, the goal is to have fun. I mean, I don't have goals for myself. My goal is, you know, build a team as a family. And at the end of the day, whatever team we play, no matter how good we are, or how good they are, it's whoever is, I would say, like, the most hungry. Right. What about for you? Um, like they said, have fun. I mean, it's a game. But um, main objective this year is just pass on legacy of Calvary Christian Academy on to the young kids. I mean, he's been a great catcher. He's going to be a great guy for the next year, and um, just transfer everything to him. All what, of about, our... what about your personal goals, though, for yourself? Um, honestly, it's... Oof. I didn't really think about that. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We can go on to your... Yeah. Um, goals for the team and goals for yourself. Goals for the team. Uh, like Zach said, I, I've i seen Calvary grow up, and I want to pass that Calvary legacy of being a, a powerhouse and a family as a team down to the next generation of players. And uh, personally, I want to be the best infooter we got on the team. I want to be the most power... Or the best offensive team um, around... And so that doesn't mean selfishly to hit as many bombs, but that means find a way on as much as I can and uh, be the clutch guy. So that is personally my goal. Excellent. Coach, any final remarks? No, I'm just, you know, these boys have come together in a, in a short period of time. Uh, I told them the other day that they're already winners, no matter what the record dictates to at the end of the year, that they've come a long way and they've come, I mean, better than I thought it was going to be. And uh, I'm very proud of them. So that's that's my closing thing. Is this, it doesn't matter what we do from now on. It's all uphill from here. Excellent. Well, we thank you for being here. Good luck thank this you. season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.